Hey, what's going on, YouTube? My name is Ornan Studios, and welcome back to another YouTube video. And guys, in today's YouTube video, I am going to be telling you guys everything you need to do to prepare for business 2023 through 2024. So I know that a lot of you guys right now, it is the day before business, uh, business is allegedly coming out. So I know a ton of you guys are probably wondering what else do I need to do last minute before Beesmas, especially if you've never played a Beesmas before. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoy. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys. So first things first. There's a lot of stuff you can do to get ready for Beesmas, so I'll go over it at the most basic level. First off, please, please plant all of the planters that you have, your best planters, and leave those planters ready, guys. This is going to be super important because a lot of the brand new Beesmas quests, just like every other year, will most likely require you to have puff shrooms and pop puff shrooms, and by having your planters ready, you'll be able to get those even faster. So I highly recommend, especially if you have a ticket planner go ahead and plant it right now so that you can anticipate getting all of your puff shrooms okay next thing on the list you're gonna hear a lot of mixed opinions about this but i'll give you guys my personal opinion and that is that i do not think you should craft any items last second before business so if you've been saving up for those gummy boots or you know even your like i don't know um porta hive or whatever right Guys, I don't think you should craft anything with these items because these miss is going to require you to have a lot of materials. It's going to require you to use oil, to use glitter, to use all sorts of things. We don't want to waste those items, okay? So if I was you guys, I highly recommend there is no need for you guys to go ahead and craft anything right away. It's, it literally is the day before Beesmas, so I highly recommend instead just don't craft anything and hold on to all those items. And guys, the next tip on the list is going to be that I highly recommend you guys get your stump snail down to one tap, but do not kill your stump snail. All right, guys. So basically, um, it, I know that at each stage of the game, killing stump snail can become easier and easier. But if you guys can get your stump snail killed in around a day of afk i highly recommend you guys get your stump snail super low in anticipation for beesmas because the second beesmas comes around if you kill your stump snail it can also drop gingerbread bears and if you've never played a beesmas before gingerbread bears are literally a hack that you can use to get gifted bees way faster so for that sake alone get your uh, stump snail down to the lowest hp and because it's the day before beesmas i wouldn't recommend killing any of your other like uh, npc or um, bosses just keep your king beetle i mean you can kill king beetle but keep your tunnel bear keep your stump snail alive but get them ready to be killed so that you guys can eventually get a ton of better beesmas awards from them and guys, one of the most important things in my opinion on this list is that if you guys have not already finished Science Bear's quest, please, please grind to get at least one of the translators, okay? The only reason I'm saying that you guys need to do this is going to be because if you have the translators and use them on Buckleby, Riley Bee, and Stickbug, it gives you the ability to open up so many more of the presents that are going to be around the map, and you really, really want to do their quest for the amazing rewards. So, if you've already got in all the translators of course i would say that stickbook's quest is going to be way way harder than the other quests traditionally the stickbook quests give you like 50 billion honey for completing them 50 to like 100 billion but they're also way harder than the bucko and riley b quest by a significant amount so if you guys are on your very first translator only, please don't use it on Stickbug before Beesmas. Go ahead and use it on Riley or Bucko B. If you use it on Stickbug, it's honestly going to be a waste. You're probably not going to be able to complete the quest. Now, I'm going to give a bunch more smaller tips. These are going to be pretty obvious ones, but because of the Honey Day event that comes out on Beesmas, which for those of you who don't know, is an event where you guys can get 2x honey for like pretty much 2-3 days, you're going to want to have some basic stuff saved up. First off, please make sure you guys have the maximum amount of micro converters possible. Another reason why is because when you complete Beesmas quests, it actually lets you get micro converters above the limit. So if you already have 15 and then you do all these Beesmas quests and everything of the sort, you guys can actually have like 40, 50 micro converters if you're lucky enough. So please make sure you have the max amount of micro converters before you log into the game. It's going to be super important. 
And with that being said, guys, that's going to be pretty much everything that I think is super important to do before Beesmas tomorrow. Again, you only have one day left, so there's not too much else, but I do know a lot of you guys want to know how to prepare for Beast. With that being said, guys, I hope you all have an amazing and wonderful day, and I'll see you all later. Let me know if this helped out, and leave a like and subscribe if it did. Peace.